Boom, 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 boom. Okay, got the tweet out. Yes, sir. Fordham things, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, sir. You know the vibes. You know the vibes. I mean, I'm not going to lie, right? It's hard for me to like, not hard for me, but like, I'm not excited. Like last game, I was excited about beating the Celtics. When we beat the Bulls, I wasn't really excited about beating the Bulls. I was excited about winning, seeing winning habits, doing winning things. Uh, tonight, I'm not excited about beating the Nets. It's the Nets. Uh, but I'm excited about winning the game. I'm excited about making sure we came back. I'm excited about guys getting to go in, especially in the second half. I'm excited about Mitch going to the free throw line, a big situation, not, not true free throws. Like, I'm, I'm excited about these things. I'm excited about Jalen Brunson being Jalen Brunson, starting off a game, not even scoring in the first quarter, and ending up with 30 and 11 anyway. I'm excited about that. Like, I'm, I'm excited about these things. I'm excited about sweeping the Nets, sweeping the Nets, as we will continue to do for years to come, because that team is food. I said after the first game of the season, the first game of the season, I said we would sweep them. The first game. I told Dennis Smith Jr., I was like, hey, you guys are going to get swept. He was like, I'm going to hold you to that. I can't wait. I didn't say anything after the second game. I didn't say anything after the third game. I would, These are the moments that the petty human being in me waits for. These are the moments that the petty human being in me waits for. The Nets got swept as they will continue to do. We are just, it's just housekeeping. It's housekeeping. You know the vibes. You know the vibes. You know what type of town we on. Get them out of here. Get them out of here. Come on, man. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Mahoy Mignoy! Mahoy Mignoy! Doodle Bob! They got Doodle Bob sweat, man. You know what time it is? This is what the petty in me waits for. Four of them things, like uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cuatro de esas cosas. They have four of them L's. L's. Mahoy Mignoy is so sweet. I remember those years of them beating us. And us not being able to pull one out against them when they had KD and Kyrie and their 10 fans always having something to say in the national media and all that stuff. Oh, my. We are going to stomp them for eternity, for the foreseeable future. And I knew it off rip. And we let them think they had it. We let them think they had a little bit of rope. And come here. Mahoy Mignoy. Forever. Hold that. Hold that. It's too easy, man. Hey, look. Let's see. Let's get to the stat sheet. Let's get to the stat sheet. Jalen Brunson, 30 points, 11 assists, 10 of 25 from the field, 3 of 7 from 3. Hey, that third quarter was absolutely beautiful. Honestly, I think that third quarter is the thing I want to talk about the most. There, there were some exciting things that happened, uh, especially, you know, being able to close the game and all that stuff. But seeing Jalen and OG cooking simultaneously, OG dominating the game on both ends of the floor, Hitting, he got the midi, he iso and hit a step back midi. I was like, hold on, knocking down threes, getting to the lane, dunking. It was just a beautiful thing, like watching them both take over together. I'm looking forward to that. I'm hoping we see a lot more of that. Like they were, it, it was beautiful. It was picturesque. It was poetic. And I need more. I need more. I love the aggression from OG in that third quarter. 
And I hope that we can get that from him in the playoffs, bro. If we get that, if we get that kind of projection from OG in the playoffs, it's curtains, bro. There's nothing anybody can do about us. Even without that production, we're dust to deal with. But if we get that production from OG, it's curtains. And I cannot wait. I cannot wait. All I could think about right now is the playoffs, man. I can't wait. 50 wins. Necesito Cinco for the uh, for the streak. Necesito Cinquenta for the season. It's right there, man, all this time. And to think about the fact that, like, we, we've gone through injuries. We've had multiple trades. All this stuff that has happened over the course of the season. Ju Julius Randle missed three months. Three months. OG Ananobi missed, like, over 20 games. Mitchell Robinson missed half the season. And here we are, 50 wins. With an opportunity to go clinch a two seed, possibly. How is Jalen Brunson not the MVP? How is Tom Thibodeau not the coach of the year? Maybe Mark Day, no, whatever, how you, however you pronounce it, maybe. But, like, in terms of what value means, Jalen Brunson is the MVP, bro. It's clear. And give Leon Rose his executive of the year. Jalen Brunson is the MVP. It's clear. And make sure Leon gets executive of the year. Not too many selfies. But, not nah, yeah, like, it's got to happen, man. It's got to happen. So, I don't know. What, what they're going to do, how they're going to try to slight us. Mitch off the bench, man, 15 points, eight boards, two blocks, 25 minutes. We got this for 25 minutes, and that was beautiful. They went with the hack of Mitch down the stretch. He stepped up. He responded. Every time Mitch goes to the line, I say, bro, just give me one. Just give me one, Mitch. If I can get one, I'm good. And so when he goes up there at the end and he's splitting the free throws, I'm like, all right, cool. I'm proud of him. He goes up there and knocks down two for two. Oh, my goodness. I'm like – the joy is through the roof, and the whole garden, like, feels that. I'm just so – I love this team so much, bro. I love this team so much. Josh Hart, 16 and 7. It felt like he had more than seven rebounds. But, like, I just love this team so much, man. It's, it's I don't even know what to say. Bogey gave us really good minutes again. Shout out to him. Deuce got rust. He wasn't feeling well tonight. I, I don't know. Like, you know, it's tough to keep saying things, man. Forward and things, other vibes. A wise man once said, eat a dub. Yum, yum, yum. Delhi Celso, but this is where we are. This is who we are. I, I'm love. I love that we completed the sweep of the Nets, um, and from there, you know. And I saw Jalen Brunson's sister Erica. She said uh, she loves when we beat the Nets because she thinks about that video from. She can't wait for the video from Claxton. And it's like, yeah, like that's where we were, bro. That's where we, like he got up there. I've never lost to the Knicks. Well, now what? Now what? We've just been kicking his ass repeatedly. And he thought he was going to have one today. You know he thought about it. He, he thinks about that, too. You know he thought he had one today. They thought they had one. They were smiling. I, I love it. I, as a hater, as, as somebody with a hater inside me uh, that I don't get to tap into very often, like my internal hate is ignored a lot, and I hate that. But, like, as a hater, it's so beautiful to make somebody think it's right there. You got to be quicker than that. So, uh, knock the feds. They don't hit the same as Buck Boston. But, uh, yeah, man, big dubs. Let's get to the intro. Let's get to the comments, and let's get up out of here. It has been a long day. Um, shout out to the Morning Brew crew. You feel me? I was on, uh, uh, Brill and I were on there earlier today. It was a great show. We had a great time. Uh, they do a lot of great content. They're coming up on a year anniversary, which is fire. So shout out to those guys. Uh, you know, shout out to everybody. Nick's on one. Shout out to everybody on playback. Shout out to everybody on the timeline. Just shout out to everybody, shout out to everybody watching right now. Um, shout out to everybody. Like, we you know, it's, it's been an 82-game season. We haven't done these shows every single game, but, like, you know, 81 games in, we've probably had, what, 75, 70 to 75 shows. Uh, you know, some of y'all, a lot of y'all have pulled up every single night. Uh, that means the world. I can't stress that enough. I try not to do it too much because last time I started telling you, well, not last time, but when I told y'all how much it meant to me and I almost got teary-eyed and ever since the internet been saying I cried even though no tears fell. Uh, but thank you guys so much, man. Truly, like as somebody who is, I've been passionate about the Knicks my whole life, I love basketball. I just love being able to talk about it. I love watching the games. Um, and, you know, I didn't always have somewhere to talk about it, like, you know, especially living in Florida. I didn't. Always, so just like having you guys being able to have these experiences, share them live and playback, uh, come in here and talk about them with you guys and share our excitement, uh, you know, be on the timeline together, be in the space together, whatever it may be. I'm just so thankful for this community. Uh, I'm so thankful for the kind words. I love it all the time, and I can't stress that enough. I'll never be able to thank you guys enough for like how you make me feel, and uh, you know what you, how much fun you make this. So, thank you, love y'all from the bottom of my heart. Let's get to the intro, <coughs> ladies and 
gentlemen, boys and girls, Nick fans here, there, Annabelle. Welcome to Post Game Prosperity with I Hey Sean. This is Post Game Prosperity. I'm I Hey Sean, and the Knicks caught a dub tonight, uh, 111 to 107. Got the Nets out of the way, four of them things, five of them on the way, and one more game till 50 wins. I need that. I need the 50 wins. We've now clinched home court advantage in the first round series. We can't be any lower than four. Uh, we went on Sunday. We can't be any lower than three. We've got three right now, and we could possibly climb to two of the Bucks lose. So let's do what we got to do. There's a lot going on in that four to seven range as far as the matchup. So I'm not even really concerned about all that. We'll end up where, this, where we're supposed to end up. Let the chips fall where they may, and let's just go hoop. That's the way I see it. So I'm really excited, uh, you know, and let's get to the comments. Let's get let's get to it. Zone now said, let's go, Sean. Let's go. Yes, sir. They tried to hack a Mitch, but not happening. Not happening. My guy Mitch went to the line ready, made it happen, dependable, knocked him down, showed up in, you know, a time we really need him and, you know, made it happen. I'm really proud of Mitchell Robinson, man. He had another one of those moments in the Heat series last year. Teams are going to hack a Mitch in those situations. And honestly, I can't blame them. But if he goes up there and he's able to even split them, that's big for us. But if he's able to go two for two, like in that situation tonight, that's huge. Shout out Mitchell Robinson. So proud of him. Uh, Comida muy delicioso. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Michael Parker said, Nets are a TV dinner. Still food. Still food. We knew they were food. We've known it. We've no They're not even really that appetizing, yo. Like, they really are not that appetizing. It, it's, it's like very low nutritional value. You're still going to be hungry after. It might just make you a little bit hungrier. What do they say about, like, isn't that thing with popcorn, like with starch? Like, you're not really eating anything? Like, that's what the Nets are. The Nets are popcorn. Like, you're not really eating. They're, they're food, but, like, you're not really eating. CT said, Jalen, one of them ones. He's certified, stamped. That's a fact. Certified, stamped indeed. One of them ones. Number 11, one of them ones. Where's the breeze? The chosen one twice over. You see it. You see it. Vizzy said, four of them things. Yes, sir. Vizzy, you know the vibes. Four of them things. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Necesito cinco y necesito... Ah, necesito cinco y necesito cincuenta. How are the vibes feeling, Michael? Excellent. Phenomenal. Fantastic. Superb. Splendid. Victorious. Prosperous. We here. The vibes are wonderful. Sean Irwin said, low bro will always be too small. Come on, man. In this case, he's not growing. He's a baby. He's a forever young. Come on, man. Stop playing. Lauren Ray said, yeah, yeah. The Nets are up in Suns. We will sweep them for the next 10 years. They should fight off right back to New Jersey. Yes, sir. Indeed, they should. Indeed, they should. Mahoy Mignoy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Michael Parker said, I thought OG was going to slide on Cam. Yo, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. That might have been my favorite moment in the game. Like, watching Jay, everything about Jay and the OG in that second half, man. Watching them go off together in the third quarter and really, like, you know, change the game and take it over. And then watching OG stand up for Jay like that. And he didn't even, you know, he didn't do a whole lot of barking, not a whole lot of rah I just walked up on him like, yo, don't let that happen. What you got going on? What you got going on? Hey, man, the enforcer, OG, business, standard, honor, OG Ananobi. We love to see it. We love to see it. We'll run through a wall for that guy, man. We ready to go. War ready. Stop playing. Don't don't play on my point guard. That's uh, Hey, man, OG was me. I'm not going to lie. When Cam Thomas pushed Jalen like that, I clenched my fist here at home in Florida. I was just like, mm, <laughs> why I ought to? So I, I love that OG like really embodied that and walked up like yo stop playing, like that that's not gonna fly. And Jalen may have sold it whatever I don't know if that's why we didn't get the call but don't I don't care if he sold it don't touch him like that. Foul him politely. Well, he said doodle bob on these fools. Yes sir, yes sir. You know the vibes. We sweeping shit. Mahoy minyoy, mahoy minyoy. Mahoy, man, yo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
Leah said, the Knicks are ready. Let's go. We got the brooms out. You know it, Leah. You know it. Laurie said, the Brooklyn Pets are our sons. Our sons, indeed. Talk that talk. Nick Perlin said, OG wasn't going. Cam Thomas, don't you don't you forget. You want JV for a reason, bum. Don't ever touch my MVP like that. Don't ever touch my MVP like that. Watch your hands when you touch my MVP. And wash your hands when you touch my MVP. Stop playing. Stop playing. Busy said, yeah, we sweeping shit. You know the vibes. Wagner said, what's good, my guy? Love seeing OG on cruise control in the third quarter, bro. Knocking down the threes. Dunking. Dunking in transition. Dunking, like, dunking on people. Shoot, uh, uh, the mini, the, the, bro, the ISO, twin twin step back. Oh, my. Yo, who are you? Who are you? Nick Perlin said, Nets are sweet. Toilet paper soft. Where my broom at? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Lauren said, I got you, Nick. Yes, sir. Ryan said, the dream of 50, dream, uh, the dream to 50 is alive. Yes, sir. And the us in Quinta is on the way. New Jump City Josh, my guy was good. Cam Thomas thought, he thought indeed, but he ain't think enough. He ain't think enough. Nick Pro said, appreciate you, Lon Ray. Nick said, showing you the go. Love these shows, man. Keep it up, bro. Playoff run loading. Salute to you, bro. I really appreciate that, man. Love you being here. Um, and yeah, playoff run loading, man. We lit. It's going to be a movie. It's going to be a movie. Daniel Carrington said, anything less than 50 will be uncivilized facts. Don't go to the Bulls and split the season series with the Bulls. And and sell 50 wins. Don't do that. Not nah. That's not, that's not the way to go into the playoffs. Let's go into the playoffs on the good foot. Uh New Jump City Josh said, I will never forget that playoff episode when we beat the Cavs in game three. You went crazy on Isaac O'Cora. LOL. Can't wait for these playoffs in your post games. Salute, bro. Salute. We let it's gonna be a movie, man. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Lon Ray said, I was foaming at the mouth, hungry for blood when that happened. <laughs> foaming at the mouth is crazy. I might go into pets uh to pet space and just to troll. Hey man, be careful when you go in there. They might get you. You know, they 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 might get you. You should be careful. Be careful. Go in there when you're burning. <laughs> but hey man, great show, great vibes, great season. One more game left. One more dub left. Uh, five of them things on the way. The win streak is gonna keep going into the playoffs. By the way, so when we win, when we win game one is gonna be six of them things. Win game two is gonna be seven of them things. Win game three is gonna be eight of them things. After we complete that sweep, we're gonna be on a nine game win streak. That's going to be nine of the things. We're going to be in here going crazy. Um, so you know the vibes. Damn crazy. Said, I'm convinced everyone in the East is food. Food, bro. It's a buffet. National Buffet Association. Everyone is food. Showing my opponent. Anybody can get it. And with that said, y'all have a great night and a great weekend. Love y'all. Adios. Oh, CC said, you thanking us, but we thank you. It's so refreshing to hear sensible Knicks talk instead of yelling and screaming and disrespecting spaces. Keep up the good work, brother. CT, always appreciate it, man. You know it, man. I can't, I, words can't say it enough. I, I just, I hope you understand, CT, truly. I, I love words. I feel like I'm pretty good with them, but I can't, I can't capture it. I really hope you understand. Like, the, I can't appreciate you more than I do, I don't think. I really appreciate you, CT, truly, from the bottom of my heart. Lauri said, LML, good idea. I'm popping on my burner telling the show. Love you, Sean. Love you too, Lauri. Vibes, man. Everybody have a great night, man. Love y'all from the bottom of my heart. Y'all know the vibes.